is the same as Bel, Belus or Balhamon, and he was the supreme male divinity worshipped by the Chaldeans, Phoenicians and Canaanites. Balim is plural. Baal means Lord and can be a title in front of a name such as in Lord Hammon or Baal can be used alone and simply refer to the specific deity. Baal was also known as the Ancient One, the Ancient of Days, Rider of the Clouds, the Mighty One, the Hero, the Exalted One, the Prince and Lord of the Earth. Baal was originally a sun god. Among the Assyrians, by some system of sacred matters, both Saturn and Sol, that is the sun, are called Bel. The worship of Baalhamon flourished in the Phoenician colony of Carthage. Baalhamon was the supreme god of the Carthaginians, and is believed that this supremacy dates back to the 5th century BC, apparently after a breaking off of relationships between Carthage and Tyre, at the time of the Punic defeat in Himera. Scholars tend to see Balhamon as more or less identical with the god El, who was also generally identified with Cronus and Saturn. The Roman god Saturn in Africa Proconsula is, absorbed elements of the mythology associated with Balhamon. Carthaginians brought the cult of Balhamon with them to North Africa in the 9th century BC from their home in the Levant. Baal's usual designation was god of thunderstorms, agriculture, and the Lord of Heaven. Baal was also representative of the sun, fertility, and human sacrifice. It is doubtless the early Punic colonists brought their tradition of sacrificing children to Baal shortly after their arrival. After the Punic Roman Wars between 265 through 146 BC, of which Rome triumphed, Rome seized and ordered Carthage destroyed. The Roman colonists quickly assimilated the figure of Balhamon to Saturn. The Romans built some of their most beautiful temples to Saturn over sites formerly dedicated to Balhamon. After the Romanization of Carthage, Saturn became the most honored by the Carthaginians, and Saturn was the Moloch of the Jewish scripture. Kyvon or Gion is the planet Saturn, Baal also is Saturn, and thus Kyvon is Baal. Child sacrifice remained a common practice, offerings were then given to Saturn instead of the former Balhamon. El and Baal are often associated with the bull in Ugaritic texts, as a symbol both of strength and fertility. They have also built the high places of Baal, to burn their sons with fire for burn offerings unto Baal, Jeremiah 19.5, it seems Baal was later demonized as, Belial, or Beelzebub. A common practice amongst tribal cultures was to demonize each other's conflicting gods, as to keep people from worshipping them. The term, Belial, is a Hebrew adjective meaning, worthless, from two common words Beli, without, and Yal, value. Balzebub or, Lord of the Flies is a derogatory Hebrew corruption of the original logaritic Balzebul, which means Lord Baal or Master of the Heavenly House. Some Hebrew scholars maintain the translation as, dung or excrement, giving Beelzebub the sarcastic meaning of, Lord of Shit. Nonetheless, both, Belial, and Beelzebub are now names that were transferred to the devil and Satan. Yet another example of how gods are altered, and absorb attributes of each other. Baal, Bel, Belus, Belial, Beliar and Beelzebub are names of one and the same personality, who in the New Testament is styled as Prince of this world, Prince of the power of the air and, the God of this world. Furthermore, the worship of Baal is still prominent today. In Freemasonry, he is called and idolized as the supreme ruler of the universe or, the great architect of the universe. The great architect is Jabilon or Jabalon which breaks down to Jar, Bel and On three ancient names of the sun god. Bel is the same god as the Phoenician Moloch. The Greeks, for the purpose of distinction, termed him the Dirian Hercules. Freemasons call him the Dirian architect. According to scripture, the temples of this idol were built on the tops of hills, or more frequently in solemn oak groves, the high hills and low vales where the religious services of masonry are supposed to have been anciently practiced. In Babylon the oak tree was sacred to Bel. The Oak of Mora, Genesis 12, 6-7, 
The Oaks of Mamre, Genesis 13, 18 and 18, 1, and the Diviner's Oak, Judges 9, 37. The oak also appears to have been a symbol of worship among the Celts and ancient Britons. The Celts worshipped their god, Tert under the form of this tree, and the Britons regarded it a symbol of their god, Danawa, the god of thunder, from whom, the Bacchus of the Druids, came the word Yule, but others derive it from Baal, Bel or Yule, who was the Celtic god of fire, and sometimes identified with the sun, and was also worshipped under the form of an oak. Baal was considered the same as the Roman Saturn, and his festival, that of Yule, was kept at Christmas, which was the time of Saturnalia. In ancient times the burning Yule log was always of oak, 